Okay, Harriet, how does baking soda help patients who have inflammation in the gums or when they come in for their cleanings, they've had a lot of tartar and bleeding, and I've just cleaned their teeth, and I've heard you say, start using baking soda so this doesn't continue. So why does that help? Okay. I recommend when someone has inflammation, a high amount of calculus builds up um, and heavy plaque, I tell them not to go back to the toothpaste they're using, but to uh, go to a baking soda, the powder form in, a, in the orange box. I don't refer to the baking soda toothpaste from Arm & Hammer because that doesn't have much baking soda in it and it's still very acidic. See, baking soda is, is, is alkaline mm -hmm. and alkalinity um, reduces the growth of, ba of bacteria. So if they use it as a, and it's not abrasive, but if they use it twice a day for several weeks, their tissues heal, their plaque level is lowered, and their teeth are squeakier and shinier. Wow. Yeah. That's so, awesome. And and it's not even an expensive thing to use. And it's, no, because a box of it costs a, a dollar. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome.